In this video, we will solve decimal equations by clearing the decimals. The process here is to first multiply the entire equation by 10 to the n, where n is the greatest number of decimal places in any decimal in the equation. Then solve the resulting linear equation. The book suggests something different. The book suggests that instead of multiplying the entire equation by 10 to the n, you change the decimals to fractions and use the greatest common denominator. Uh, uh, sorry, the least common, least common denominator. But I think that this is easier because it's pretty easy to identify what the greatest number of decimal places in the equation will be. So for example, we solve 0 0.38 plus 1.1y equals 0 0.6 by first clearing the decimals. The greatest number of decimal places in the equation is 2 in 0 0.38. So 10 squared is 100. 100 times 0 0.38 plus 1.1y is equal to 100 times 0 0.6. 38 plus 110y equals 60. Subtract 38 from both sides to get 110y equals 22. So y equals 22 over 110, which is 1 fifth or 0 0.2. The interest formula resembles the percentage formula, P equals RB, but includes the time period over which money was borrowed or invested. If we know three of the values, we can find the fourth. The formula for simple interest is I equals PRT, where I equals interest, P equals principal, R equals the interest rate in decimal form, and T equals time. So for example, a $1,000 investment is made for two and a half years at 6.25%. Find the amount of interest. In this case, the, uh, we're looking for the interest. The principal is $1,000. The interest rate is 6.25, which is 0 0.0625, and the time is 2.5 years. If we multiply all of this together, we get I equals 156.25, uh, sorry, $156.25 interest over two and a half years. The last example, the formula for voltage, V, is wattage, W, divided by amperage, A. V equals W over A. Find the, watt, uh, the voltage to the nearest hundredth needed for a circuit of uh, 1,280 watts with a current of 12.23 amperes. So V equals W over A equals 1280 W over 12.25 A, which is about 104.666705 or um, 104.66 volts.